Done. <laughs> okay. Okay. Welcome to the Wise Turtle Speaks podcast, blog, video, number, whatever. <laughs> Two, three, seven, eight. <laughs> I haven't. No, I number my podcasts, but not my videos. Okay, very good. And this is technically a video. Not yes. Podcast. All right. So I won't worry about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is part of my speaking up process, um, and today I figured I'd give you an example of an actual real human being who doesn't know the process. When she's Probably seen it in a couple of versions a long time ago, but probably doesn't remember them. Um, <laughs> Thank you so much. So they were not very memorable. <laughs> um, but so you can see it in action. However, I am tailoring this a little bit, a because well, this is my mother and I know her, and also this is going to be recorded, so I'm tailoring it a little bit to be a more public version than someone might personally do when they're doing the process and you can do it on all levels so I'm going to do it a little specific, more specific than you might do it if you're starting off that's just because I know her and I and I have an idea of a particularly interesting topic to explore with it but you would start from scratch or have someone who knows you maybe start from a place that you're interested in but anyway so this is the speaking up process this is my mother Ellie Hi, <laughs> I am Turl, and um, I hope you enjoy this discussion. We start off with there are four processes. Actually, I forgot to get my prop, but uh, this is <laughs> this is my prop. I forgot. It. <laughs> Thankfully, it was within, within reach. Um, there's a sort of four stages. Uh, this particular one is called create, explore, dream, and do. Probably can't read that from that far away, but um, and they're colored in a specific way too, with different interesting colors. Um, but this is part of the four-step process, and in this process, it is um, instead of create, explore, dream, and do, um, it's uh, loves losses, dreams, and needs. And so this four step process, and I'm gonna tell you this four step, I'm gonna ask you the questions, but I'm, like I said, I'm tailoring them um, to, to you specifically for this. Yeah. Um, but it's the general process of the learning process, which is also the stages of grieving, um, which is sort of a loopy process where we go outward and then inward and then outward again. Um, to sort of connect to the world with our stories. And so this is a storytelling process. Um, and so you can use it for any level, but I thought today that we'd explore, because I know you and your history and your passions have been for theater and storytelling, so it kind of ties into all of it. Mm -hmm. And um, so I wanted to ask you, um, in the loves, the first question is about your loves, and sort of your passion for theater and storytelling and singing and, and sort of all of that. Um, not necessarily drama, but obviously drama is a part of it, but you know, you've done so much with that in your life. And I sort of wondered what, like why was it so meaningful to you? What did that offer you and why do you love it so much? I think the obvious answer obvious to me, I won't judge, make that judgment call for anyone else, <laughs> was that it gave me a very safe place to go and explore who I am while still using, uh, for want of a better word, the crutch of having memorized a script, memorized a story to tell, memorized a play to it to present um, so I was dependent on my skills at of memorizing and interpreting 
a piece of theater, whatever it might be, but it allowed me to also be brave. I'm working a little too hard at this. <laughs> That's okay. Um, which is normal in some ways that are good and bad, but yeah, I, and thinking very quickly on my feet now is not as easy as it might have been even five years ago. Um, and I don't know that we need to even explore or explain uh, why. But um, I'm going to stand on that right now. Take that where you so want. it So it allowed you to be brave and you used your skills for memorization to, like, what did it allow you, um, I mean, it made, obviously it made you feel good that you were able to do something that impressed other people and that other people found valuable, and, but about the storytelling part. Um, right, it, it let me, it gave me the words, but then I had to understand how best to express those words, mm -hmm. how to say, you know, interpret them. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm telling a story whether I'm actually acting a part or reading a story um, to a group of children. I was still finding a way to be the actress and best present the words I was saying. Mm -hmm. um, so there was interpretation of the story, there was my voice finding what it could do to show an audience um, or a classroom how I was happy, how to best express happy, how to best express sadness, how to best express wonder, etc. So was it, how important was it to find stories that you cared about or was it sometimes just nice to explore a totally different story that wasn't related to your life at all but kind of interesting? I think both, yeah. equal, equal. Yeah. I mean, that, and again, there's the freedom of that, ooh, you know, I mm. could play this part. Yeah, I never yeah. thought of that before, but... Yeah. So. yeah, so exploring sort of other other people's perspectives and uh -huh. other lives and, and both fantasy and true. It's a big Pandora's box. Right, yeah. Which ones did you like the most as far as like um, the more fantastical, the more, I, I mean, I know you did because you did a lot of uh, musicals obviously uh -huh. and they tend to be more fantastical and sort of and wild and, and interesting. Um, did you enjoy that more, or the more serious kind of dramatic? I think it, it's pretty equal. Yeah. Because again, it's just giving you a treasure chest of exploration and freedom, um, and sometimes you rely totally on your own experience, but sometimes you're using the guidance of a director, a music director, or a theater director, that type of thing, too. I hadn't really thought of it that way, yes. Mm -hmm. it, it comes with many options mm -hmm. to let you find the right character, yeah. the right story, um, the avenue to go down. Mm -hmm. Cool. So do you think, um, is there anything else you wanted to say about why you liked theater, so, or storytelling in general, music, theater, all of it? anything else you wanted to add about why it was so important to you? You don't have to. I'm just... Kidding. Yeah, I, what I'm thinking again, um, this just sort of, well, thinking again, not for the first time maybe, but being reminded of. Um, I was a little shy and did not always have my own opinions. I had I used opinions that I thought other people would respond to favorably. Um, so you know that's another freedom, and it lets you be comfortable, and you feel safe, 
because you're using someone else's words mm -hmm. and someone else's ideas and someone else's guidance. Um, and it's whether you're doing a single poem or an entire play or an entire musical. Um, it's, it's, it's a wonderful <laughs> Pandora's box. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. I mean, it, it just gives you everything and anything. Mm -hmm. And I liked what you said about it, it let you be brave, or it helped mm -hmm. you be brave. Yeah. That it let you be, it sort of let you be yourself while not, while not being in someone else, so that you, it wasn't as dangerous to exactly. express yourself, yeah. because it was, that was what you were supposed to be yeah. doing. Yeah. Interesting. Wow, that's cool. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so moving on to the next one, which is losses. Um, and I'm going to tailor this one. Um, specifically to this. It's it's a, usually a little broader, um, but to this, especially from I know the things that you've been talking about and thinking about recently in your life, and, and by recently I mean in the past you know, 10, 20 years or whatever, <laughs> more recently, um, that I know you've been a little worried about kids especially, but you know just people in general, um, not having quite the same experiences not being mm -hmm. exposed to the same kind of experiences that you appreciate so much. And so could you talk maybe a little, I mean, and you've, if you want to bring something else up about it, but the idea is to, your, your, your concerns or things that you've seen happen in the past that have bothered you about the ability of the world to preserve this storytelling theater um, option for people. Not always easy for me to find the right words mm. now, and you know that. Um, and that's neither good nor bad. <laughs> it's just interesting. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, sometimes I have a vast vocabulary, and sometimes I have a very limited one. Um, well, I feel. Do you want to bring that up right now, just for a second? Because this is the losses section. Do you want to say, you know, just maybe a sentence or two about what? Your, oh, all right. your brain loss. You know, I, I, <laughs> yes, my brain loss. Um, and I don't use it as an excuse. Right. Because no, it right. has opened up an awesome right. new world for right. me. But I've had several strokes in the past year and a half. And through my own stubbornness and an amazing array of friends and tall and old friends and new friends, um, I'm waging a very winning battle, finding my brain again and, the, and what it can do. I don't know. Hi. I keep looking over there. It's I don't okay. need it's to. Okay. You can. Um, I, I just remembered it was there. <laughs> the, the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and the phone is there, too. Do you want to answer? No, we'll okay. let it do its thing. Okay. Um, but the stroke has left me struggling a bit with communication skills and no for, one else would notice just just for the record <laughs> you you've heard her already no one would notice only like she notices really. right. I mean once in a great while she's like lost for one but who isn't <laughs> yeah no but, it, but it's yeah. a different totally it's, yeah. different she feels field. different yeah, yes you feel different. I, I'm yeah. rather mm -hmm. um, yeah. adamant about that that yeah. It's a different kind of loss when you're ser when I am searching for a word. Um, there's just a big stone wall there, mm -hmm. and you're more concerned with the fact that you know that wall is there, and how do I best get over it? That just sort of came to me, but I think mm -hmm. that's maybe a, a mm -hmm. slightly different yeah. way to explain it. Um, and I don't want to be stopped by that stone right, wall. Right. That's I don't have time to be. Um, I have things to do. I have things to do. I am about living, and I I was out for five days. I will share that. Um, and they didn't really expect me to come back. Um, ha! <laughs> anyway, I don't have time for strokes. Right. Okay, so so yes, yeah, so um, the things that you feel that the current society might not be helping people get the access to the things that you appreciated so much. Okay. I think, in a nutshell, what I 
want to say is that we are going in so many directions and with so many concerns and fears and I gotta stop there, I don't need to make a super <laughs> long list, um, that we have forgotten how to, how to live and how to enjoy the smell of the rose, the sound of a baby's laugh, the feel of someone's hand on our hand, an arm around a shoulder, that these things are being lost. The, min the minutia of life is being lost and we need the minutia to strengthen everything else to support as a foundation perhaps. Um, I don't want us to forget why we're here and the joy we should have at even being here and not, you know, if, if you're a mom love your children and play with them and make them laugh and make them smile and make them want to run to your arms. If you have an elderly person in your life who is struggling with just living another day, help them find the joy in the day that they are living in. Um, Words like that. I, I could go on forever. I don't want to get well, too sidetracked. How do you feel that um, that the things that you've done, the things that you've appreciated the stage in various forms, um, singing in theater, um, how do you feel those, and the storytelling in the books, mm -hmm. I know you're, she's doing a book thing now, um, <laughs> how do you feel those can help with that? is remembering that they are there. Um, this is one of my old complaints in life that that occupied good people's time and they were well-meaning but I used to always get a little annoyed with the world and say well of course all the parents will come to that event because it's got a ball in it. <laughs> whether it's a basketball, a football, whatever. Uh, they need to come and see their children when they're singing. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't want to demean the importance of sports, and I'm seeing it once again, that sports are still capturing our time and our minds and the music and the, the poetry of life is being pushed aside. We don't have time for it. Nobody needs to learn poetry. Um, who cares about words almost anymore? I mean, we're talking less to each other. Um, yeah. I don't want to get, I, I can get really <laughs> yes. lost here, yes. so help me once yes. in a while, keep me on track, because I do have issues with way too many things. Yeah, <laughs> so, okay, so unless there's something else very specific you wanted to bring up, we could move on to the next. Okay, question. I don't know if there is at this moment, okay. I'll get okay. back if to you. you. Get, yeah, that's fine. Um, so the third one is, um, so we've done loves, losses, and then dreams. Um, and the dreams are what, so you've, you've taken, you've gone through this thing, this, this, this passion you have, these, this, this venue that you have of expression that helps you be brave and, and explore new, you know, stories, just mm -hmm. the stories of, like you said, the minutia of life. Um, so having taken that, plus the, you know, your concerns about that it's getting lost, um, to some other things getting crowded out. Uh, what would your dream be for something that either you or you with other people or you know, future generations could do under your guidance, you know, your, your suggestions, um, could do to make it 
to bring it more in line with, with your ideals of how that would fit, how theater and performing would fit into, you know, the world in the future. And it was a long, <laughs> a long way of saying that. <laughs> Wait, look who you're sitting It's your signs. dreams. <laughs> it's basically your dreams, your ideals, what you would like to see that you could actually do or that you could help someone else do suggestions. Well, I may have already said this in a way, but it, I, I'm coming back to it if I have said it already. We've got to learn to sit down and talk with each other and to each other, but mostly with each other. And if that's the person sitting beside us on the bus or even passing in the grocery store, you know, a hi. Remind people that it's okay to look at another person and speak to another person. And then who knows what door that opens. And we've got to be brave enough to keep opening doors and say, you know, when somebody asks you, you know, where you got that beautiful hat, tell them where you got that beautiful <laughs> hat. I mean, that, that will open a conversation. Um, if you want to go see a movie or go to the theater and see a show, take somebody with you. Uh, we've got to bring more people into our lives, talk more to each other about whatever, and um, share moments and take time to remember what made us happy in the past. Um, and try to make sure there are more moments in your life that foster that. Um, we just have to take time. We have to slow down. We're, we're not talking to each other. We're talking into our phones. We're talking around... And, and what we're talking about is... Politics. And <laughs> politics and nothing. Yeah. You know, who wore what mm. to the party? Mm. You know, who bought what for the baby? Um, I'm sorry, meaningless. Mm -hmm. And we've got to talk about things that matter. Yeah. And things that will make us all happier. And if we all start being a little bit happier that we've done something each day that has made us feel good about getting up in the morning. And you've got to have a reason to get up in the morning. And if it's only the one that gets you f through the first five minutes, that's a great start because who knows where that five minutes may take you. Um, it's a wonderful place out there, but we've got wrapped up in our politics, in our... and in our running away from responsibility. And that I know that's a loaded conversation too, but we have responsibility to our planet and to each other. And we, we, unless we just don't care. Mm -hmm. And if we just don't care, then why are we here? You know, stop taking up space. <laughs> I'm sorry, just move on. Because <laughs> there are a lot of us people here, and we need all the space we can find. Um, but to wake up and, and see the sunset or the rain each day, what a gift because some people don't get to wake up mm -hmm. tomorrow. So again, it's about living. It's not about dying. It's not about being sick all the time. It's not about whatever. It's about living. And what, what do you think you would like to do most in order to sort of not as like a legacy, but you know, it's something in the time that you have left here. Um, is there something special? I mean, I know you you have your little projects here and there that you find. Um, is there anything other than those kinds of things that you would specifically like to do um, to sort of help people be more living, be more well, living in a community? Um that is geared toward the elderly. Um, I'd like to help us understand that
being elderly is not the end of the road. It is often explained as the end of the road and, you know, I've come pretty close to the end and obviously decided it was worth coming back. Um, so find something special to do. And that's, I mean, right now I'm thinking and I've talked with you a little bit about, okay, I need to connect with uh, a children's book seller business person and see how we can bring more young people to good literature, fun literature, and maybe it means that we bring more elderly person to these children to read to them, uh, to remind, or even help them know what it's like to curl up in someone's lap and listen to a good story. Mm -hmm. um, there's just so much that the young can teach the old and the middle-aged and the tweens and whatever. We can all teach each other things. And I think through books, through storytelling, and we all have stories to tell, and they're good stories, and they're sad stories, and they're scary stories. But the more we share those, the better we all know what the world is about. Uh, and it's important to understand what the world is about. And it's not all doom and gloom and misery. It's about laughter. It's about shouting out joyfully, uh, running down the road, arms waving, screaming, to the top of your lungs as you laugh and giggle at whatever makes you happy. Um, yeah, life is about living. And if you've had a stroke, you know what it's like to suddenly have one half of your body just not work at all. <laughs> it's like, oh, dear. <laughs> and they said, you know, you might not walk for a while. Well, in three days I was up and walking. <laughs> it's like, no, you just got to yeah. want to do it, yes. whatever it is, you've got to want to do it. She and learned early on that walking was excellent. Yes. Walking I, is a very good thing. I like walking. It gets me there. <laughs> and I, yeah, okay, too many stories. I've got a lot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so but, let's pick up at, we just talked about all of, um, all of your worries and concerns about, um, you know, the world not connecting as much and, and people not talking to each other and sharing their minutia stories. And then you said your dreams are helping them do that and, and especially with the books um, and this new project that you just discovered. Um, and, you know, probably have many other projects, you know, that you may want to do. Um, so in helping you do those projects and do the things that you would like to do, achieve, you know, the, the important things, meaningful things to you, um, for physical needs um, of your your physical body um, to take care of it. Um, are there things that you especially need, more or less, you know, when it comes to food and shelter and warmth and light and information and sort of ways to express yourself, freedoms to express yourself, um, transportation, travel, movement. Um, you know, any of that, is there anything you specifically could really use from the world these days? All right, I think, I think I've got this piece now as my foot slides off the couch. <laughs> <laughs> and is it a couch? <laughs> <laughs> it's couchish. It's, <laughs> it's a chair. <laughs> narrow couch. See, the, okay, good example. Um... The things I need help with are getting around, <laughs> transportation, and if you do not have a significant other in your life that's, you know, a partner, you, you occupy the same space basically, and that partner gives you the rides that you need if you're someone like me. And so that suddenly became a need to have help with transportation, um, with getting my food, 
uh, in the winter because you, you don't always get to walk to the local grocery store um, easily through snow. So and lack of sidewalks and lack places. of sidewalks, yes, and traffic lights and <laughs> all that stuff. <laughs> Things for somebody who's to negotiate. Yes, if your vision is challenged um, and you live on a highway where everyone's driving 100 miles an hour, um, coming and going, uh, it's a little scary out there in for someone like myself. Um, so yes. There are needs. We all have real needs, and whether, yeah, whether it's just transportation needs or getting to the right grocery store, um, yeah, I have needs. And it's it's nice that you have this space, even if it's not your ideal home, but that you have this. You know, have a community, community space, and that you have, you know, your own apartment, mm -hmm. and and it is, you know, it's somewhat walkable around here, yeah, um, which is very helpful. Um, and I have friends, and I think that's an important thing to look at. Um, throughout my life, I have made acquaintances that have lasted for some time, and recently, because of the stroke, I have some new friends. Um, and I find those people that fit comfortably into helping me with some of these challenges. And that's a hard thing to do because most of us do want to be totally self-sufficient. And there comes a time in everyone's life when they lose some of those um, uh, abilities. Being able to make your own decisions, yeah, too. Yeah, I mean, think that's, yeah. And, you know, I think my brain is doing quite well mm -hmm. with me making <laughs> yes. most of my own yes. decisions. Yes, yes. yes. Um, there, there will always be challenges. We have to find ways to meet those challenges, and if we need assistance, then we find the assistance we need, and mm -hmm. we just know that life is entering a slightly different path. And again, it's not the end of the world. There's a way to deal with it. And I'm very glad that you were able to find this place. And I, you know, you could make your home in a lot of different places, but I think this place is, is helping you with more of your needs than maybe mm -hmm. some other places have been. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm very happy about that. But I know there are still challenges, especially the transportation. Um, and sometimes maybe Sometimes maybe um, having venues for you to go to, yes, um, that you know give you an audience, give you a place to, to connect with people, mm -hmm. um, you know. So some some yeah. of find the of music things. that gives me such joy. Yeah. Go hear yeah. a band. Yeah. Go hear a singer. Yeah. Or go sing or myself. Or that you yeah that's yes that's <laughs> what I was thinking because. Somebody I find me a guitar the, player. The <laughs> I know you were talking about the open mic night. Um, and you were that curious made. about how to maybe make that happen. <laughs> and that's a challenge for you. So because of the transportation, because of the fact that the venue is at night, and you know there are a lot of more... There's some needs that, that could still help you. Yes. Um, that the world could give you that yes. could help you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'll, I'll leave it at that, and I will say thank you very much welcome, for answering these questions and exploring, and I, I certainly learned something, and I, I think you said and you had thought of something differently while you were thinking mm -hmm. about that, and that's the goal of this, the storytelling, and, and while you're just telling the stories, you can learn something new yourself. And sometimes it's nice when a mother and daughter are not quite a mother and daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, exactly. Yes. yes. I mean, I've never interviewed Bifty before that I know of, at least I, not since I was an adult. Right. <laughs> you probably <laughs> did when you uh, were yes, probably. three. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yes, so thank you very much for this. You're welcome. Thank um, you. And thank you for watching. Um, if you'd like to get in touch with me, um, my email is thewiseturtle at gmail.com and my Twitter handle is also the wise turtle 
You can also find me under Turl, T-U-R-I-L, Kronberg, C-R-O-N-B-U-R-G. Um, and my website is Turl, T-U-R-I-L, dot O-R-G. And you can find my podcast there and probably this video as well as some other things. Um, and yes, I would love to hear from you. And if you'd ever like to explore the speaking up process, um, if you would ever like me to customize it to a specific kind of process like this or, you know, for kids or anything, um, please do be in touch with me. I would love to help people out. Um, this is a process based on, I believe I said that before, based on the learning process of the brain, uh, which is also the grieving process. It's the same process that we go through a, an external and then an internal exploration and then an external. Um, so it's a, it's a physics-based process that I've explored. Um, and I, I really enjoy it, and I think it's very helpful in sort of helping us connect to other people um, and helping us share our personal stories and our lives and helping us discover new, new people and new ideas. So I thank you very much for listening. Thanks enough. Bye. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> We're good. <laughs>